All right, Ann, thank you. Energy Secretary Stephen Chu will be in the hot seat today on Capitol Hill. He's expected to face some very tough questions over a half billion dollar federal loan given to a solar energy company tied to one of President Obama's donors. NBC senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers has the latest on this one. Hi, Lisa. Good morning, Matt. The latest embarrassment for the White House is a series of emails revealing that the administration knew the company was in big trouble last fall. The email suggests that the administration urged company executives to conceal the bad news until after midterm elections, in which Democrats were fighting to hold control of Congress. The company is called Solyndra. It was the poster child for the president's effort to create green jobs. Companies like Solyndra are leading the way. But internal company emails revealed that only five months after the president heralded Solyndra and its half billion dollar loan guarantee as a stimulus success story, company officials warned they needed an emergency infusion of cash and were about to close a plant and announce layoffs. In one email in October of last year, a Solyndra advisor wrote that while the Department of Energy is cooperative about providing more money, they did push very hard for us to hold our announcement of the consolidation to employees and vendors to November 3rd. Oddly, they didn't give a reason for that date. November 3rd was the day after the hotly contested 2010 election. Solyndra did announce layoffs that day. It's pretty clear that they wanted the bad news to come after the election, not before it. Embattled Secretary Chu once boasted that he moved with unprecedented speed to approve loan guarantees to companies like Solyndra. Now investigators want to know why Solyndra got 535 million taxpayer dollars despite numerous red flags. Why the government provided more money even after the company defaulted. And why officials agreed that if the company failed, some private investors would get repaid before taxpayers, which is highly unusual. Even some Democrats are troubled. Oh, I think it's embarrassing in the administration. It'd be embarrassing to any administration that we have $500 million of American taxpayer money uh, that, that it's at risk and now we may we will lose it. Chu insists all decisions were based on merit. Nothing to do with Solyndra's ties to a big Obama donor. Certainly. Uh, no decision we made in the loan program had anything to do with who is investing in this company. In his prepared testimony today, Chu takes full responsibility for what happened. He says all the final decisions were his and that none were based on political considerations. Matt emails circulated within the White House suggest Obama staffers considered firing Chu earlier this year, but the secretary says he has the full support of the president. All right, Lisa Myers in Washington this morning. Lisa, thank you very much. Now let's get a check of the rest of the